Welcome to the latest episode of the miniature painting series. In the upcoming tutorials, we will be painting figures from the Iron Keep expansion of the Dark Souls board game. On today's video, we will cover the steps to paint the Alone Knights. That consists of the Alone Bow Knight, the Alone Sword Knight, and the Alone Knight Captain. I am working on them as a set since they have pretty similar colors with a few changes in the details. Also, knowing that the Alone Knight's loyalty to one another is the stuff of legends, it felt right to do so. Speaking of the lore, I read something in the wiki that I found to be particularly interesting for the painting guide. Clad in iron armor, the Alone Knights were trained by a visitor to the Iron Keep and fight viciously with katanas while their captains snipe with the lone great bows. Which is a bit funny because the alone captain indeed has the alone great bow in the companion reference, but in the board game it's the alone bow knight that has the bow, and the bow 3D model doesn't look like the great bow that he's supposed to have. I tried to paint in black like the reference, but it didn't like the results, so I finally painted as the Great Bow, even though the asset doesn't look much like it. They are amazingly fast for such heavily armored foes, and are capable of sudden advances and retreats using their weapon of choice, the Black Steel Katana. If you check the Black Steel Katana, it looks like the weapon wielded by the Alone Sword Knight in the board game. And this kind of makes sense. Which leads us back to the alone captain that is using a sword that I have no idea what it is. It reminds me a bit of the Yushigatana because of the hilt, but is not connected to the alone knight's lore, so I interpret it as just another katana to go with the set. Now that we have the alone weaponry sorted out, let's start painting. You need the following colors. The first step is priming the miniature, and if you still have any questions on how to do that, don't forget to check the how to paint miniature again. For the second step, we will base all the miniatures with Iron Warrior. Once it's dry, paint the base, the hilt of the katanas with Abaddon Black. You can do the Alone Knight Captain as well, for some reason I did last, that's why there isn't a picture of him, but that will save you some time. The cloth of the captain is done by mixing macrage blue with ceramic white to make it lighter. On the other hand, the pants are done by mixing macrage blue with abaddon black to make it darker. Once everything is dry, apply some new oil to create shadows. For the bow, I mixed macrage blue with more ceramic white to reach a tone lighter than the night captain cloth. The highlights are done by dry brushing with Iron Breaker, including the bow for some shine. Finally, dry brush Cronus Blue on the cloth and pants to highlight the seams of the fabric. Voila! This is the final result! I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any constructive feedback, questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to drop in the comment section below. If you haven't done so, hit the bell button to get a notification when the next episode is up. Thank you and see you next time.